539, let's go to the Corky's Hotline. Billy Ray, let's turn our attentions to what's going to happen on Friday night. San Diego State, 3-0 and in the Mountain West. Utah State, 3-0 and in the Mountain wow. West. This is a monster game, and here to tell us more about it is head coach Rocky Long. Hi, coach. Hi, hi Scott. How are you guys? I'm confused. My head is spinning. I heard you've been talking about the stadium. Let's yeah. let's let's move on to something more positive. Thanks, yeah. coach. Yeah, I'm Thanks with a you. Lot. I'm with you. I just, you know, I can't help it, coach. I mean, I just fear that this, you know, team could leave. And if they leave, what happens to the stadium? What happens to you guys? I mean, I, this is big stuff. You know, it's important. Well, we'll be, we'll be all right either way. Yeah. All right. Well. All right. Anyway, <laughs> coach, um, you have said to us for many weeks that Boise State is playing the best football in the Mountain West Conference, and yet. Utah State last week tore them to shreds. You watched the film. What happened? Uh, it was the perfect storm. Uh, Utah State came out, fired up. They played very physical, caused a bunch of turnovers. Um, you know, most of them they caused by being aggressive and playing hard. And and uh, Boise State, uh, you can't win when you turn the ball over eight times, or I've never seen anybody win when they turn it over eight times when the other team doesn't turn it over at all. And obviously it started early in the game because they turned it over seven times in the first half, and the momentum was tremendously in Utah State's favor, and they jumped on that and took the momentum to a big-time win. You're not going to be able to count on that that kind of turnover production, Coach, or can you? (laughs) I sure hope not. (laughs) I mean, unless it's us turning it to them over seven times, that'd be nice. But uh, I I think it's going to be a great game. I, I think the two teams are equally matched. The two teams are on a roll. Uh, the two teams are confident. They all want to be. Everybody wants to be the best team in the league. Mm-hmm. It ought to be a heck of a game. Yeah, and um, and coach, talk to us about the 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 two different divisions within the Mountain West Conference. You have the Mountain Division and you have the West Division, and and both you know they're three and zero on their side. You guys are three and zero on your side. Uh, th- this game, it seems, is winner controls their own destiny. Well, I think that's true, but I think. Uh, Either one of us that win, we control our own destiny in the, our division, in the Mountain Division or the uh, West Division. Uh, but you have a leg up on, if you continue to win, you have a leg up on who gets to host the championship game. Uh, you know, we're not worried about that now because we've got to win several more games. But uh, a head-to-head battle, if nobody's uh, ranked real high, a head-to-head battle makes a big difference on who gets home field advantage. Any, any difference in your preparation, Coach? Any, any different kind of approach to to a, a game that's not on a regular Saturday? Uh, big time for us. Now, they played last Friday, so they had a regular week, and I don't know exactly how they did theirs, but our, our week was a day short in preparation, so uh, we usually have two days where we go on pads. Uh, we only went one this week. Uh, we went shorter than normal. We usually go about an hour and a half. We've gone, we haven't had a practice longer than about an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, We did a walkthrough today that uh, normally we would have more of a practice today, but we did a walkthrough. So I I think the most important thing is to have our guys fresh and ready to go, and we'll see if that causes us any problem assignment-wise. All right, we're talking to Rocky Long, the head coach at San Diego State. Tomorrow night, what a huge game. San Diego State and Utah State. You know, I'm the guy who's always complaining about the schedule, but sometimes um, the schedule just kind of plays into your favor. Little did we know that Utah State would annihilate Boise State, and now they come in here unbeaten in their bracket of the of the Mount West Conference. San Diego State is unbeaten as well, and it really becomes a huge game. Now, Coach, the only bad side of, of all of this is it's Friday night. It's high school football. It's you know you, you can't even get the recruits to come down on a Friday night because they're all out there playing, right? Yeah, that's the that's one of the bad things about playing on Friday night because I'm a believer. You know, I'm traditional. I believe high school football is on Friday night and college football is on Saturday afternoon and we don't do that much anymore either but uh, yeah that, that's one of the bad things the good thing about it is uh, we're going to get a bigger TV audience than we normally do because we're on ESPN too and all the other teams in the country that are sitting in hotels waiting to play on Saturday they're going to be watching our us play and that gives us a chance to an opportunity to show that we're a pretty good football team and maybe do some things later on in selection process and all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. but uh that's the positive. The negative is it is on a Friday night, and a lot of people that come watch us play like to go watch high school games uh, on Friday night. So it'll be interesting to see the kind of crowd we get. Now, we'd love to have a big crowd because we play at home, and it would be a home field advantage since they have one extra day to prepare. It would be great 
if the community would get out on a Friday night. Now, look, ki- kickoff is 730. So, you know, rush hour traffic and the kids getting out of school and all that kind of stuff. It would be great to get a really big crowd tomorrow night down at Qualcomm Stadium. Again, you may not think Utah State and you may not you know, go big time college football game. You know, they're not USC. They're not UCLA. They're not Cal, et cetera. But they are undefeated in their side of the conference. Right. And this is a huge, huge football game. For San Diego State, which, by the way, Coach, would you just go back to what you were saying regarding the eventual home field advantage for the championship game? Can you just explain how that works? Well, the the winner of each side, the winner of the mountain side, will play the winner of the western side or the Pacific side. Uh, the two best teams in those two divisions will play. They determine home field advantage by who is ever ranked the highest in the uh, college playoff system i mean they they rank us all they rank us from one to 124 126 they rank everybody and it's determined who gets home field advantage uh by who is ranked the highest now in our league boise was ranked the highest up until utah state beat the heck out of them the other night now utah state's ranked the highest so you know it would make a big difference if we could play well makes a big difference in us having a chance to win the championship as well as maybe increasing our ranking gotcha okay very good all right, we talked to D.J. Pumphrey, your star running back, leading rusher, leading receiver the other day, and we asked him, Coach, if he's committed to returning for his senior season, and without hesitation, the kid said, 100% I'm committed to coming back. Have you guys already been talking about this? No, not at all. And, I'm, you know, I heard that he said that on, on your show, and, <laughs> and that, may, that makes us pretty happy because our normal procedure around here is at the end of the season I call every senior in tell every senior what I think about their NFL chances or not being an NFL guy. And, and then I call any junior in, and we talk one-on-one. If any of them I think is a possible draft choice, we call them in. And obviously we would have called him in. And then we canvass the NFL, and they do a great service for young people. They, they give the school and the young man um, a guess, uh, an educated guess on where he might be drafted. And, and then you can go about really – explaining the pluses and minuses of leaving early. And usually they all want to leave early, and usually they think they're going to get drafted higher than they are. And so it's hard. It's a hard sell. But when a young guy says he's coming back no matter what, that that's a pretty easy sell. Yeah. He said he, he made the commitment. He said, the day I signed, I committed to play all four years. We can send you that clip, by the way. You, you can play <laughs> might, it for I it. I might need it later on. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> hey, hey don't, you said on the radio. It is right yeah. here. No, it's great. The kid, it's it's amazing to watch this young man who's put up some huge stats in his career so far. But I think maybe most impressive is his his ability to recover. I mean, we were all so worried during that Fresno State game that this kid could be lost for some time. And uh, he came right back the following week, put up big numbers against Hawaii. And uh, I guess he wasn't hurt as bad as everybody thought at first. Well, I guess not. And I'm glad he's healthy now because we're, we're going to need him. Yeah, right on. Coach, uh, we look forward to a big game tomorrow night against Utah State. Going to try and make it down there ourselves, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much, Rock. Thanks, Rock. I appreciate you guys. Thanks. Thank you so much.